Kiwi to be famous faces here this weekend to, to enjoy as we're getting uh, ready now for the drift cars to start heading up the hill as well. So uh, we will bring in Ian Waddington as well as Becky. They're both absolute experts on the drift cars. So Bruce is just going to hand over his microphone in a second. In, the mo in a moment, you will be seeing cars coming up here that are putting on uh, a tremendous bit of fun and games, slithering around all over the place and just trying to demonstrate what can be done. And this is actually a very modern version. They've been playing quite a lot with the Hyundai Ionic 5 in drift spec. Uh, let's see how it gets on this time. It doesn't have quite the same balance, does it, guys, as the, uh, as the drift cars that you've seen so often, but they're, they're having fun with it. No, it certainly doesn't, Ben. And uh, I think that goes for the weight of the vehicle. We spoke a lot about this the other day when me and Becky were up watching the drift car and we're bringing you all the sounds and sights from drift car in those treacherous weather conditions. This car weighs 2.5 tonnes, so balancing this car on the rear tyres is very, very difficult indeed. And a lot of people around the paddock were quite surprised how much it weighed back in. We see that at the top of the hill when he was trying to donut around those barrels to set the sensors off. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, that, that is a difficult car to drive. I, it was out every single round, and at the end of the year, we're actually managing to fill one of the biggest stadiums, the PGE Stadium in the middle of Warsaw, 60,000 seater. There's going to be a custom drift track in the middle of it. Never have we had drifting so big that we can have events like this. Oh, We did get yeah. a, a little bit of da damage on the Hyundai, just taking off the rear wheel arch. Ah, yep. that's fine.